Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jordan and my Xbox Live Gamer Tag is TF141Ghost. Um, this is my very first commentary on Modern Warfare 2 and actually in general. So uh, let me know what you think. Um, today I'm playing a free for all in Quarry free -all. and let's see I'm using Sleight of Hand Pro, Stopping Power Pro and uh, Steady Aim Pro. Um, I usually don't use Steady Aim Pro. Uh, I'm, I'm a ninja kind of guy. I use that a lot. And uh, I figured a, uh, I'm going to do a first commentary. I'm going to try and no scope some people show off. It, it doesn't work out. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't happen once. So um, I get the initial first blood kill. Um, in free for all, whenever I start out, I immediately, I just stand there for about three seconds and uh, I wait for someone to move because the spawns and uh, in free for all in the very beginning uh, sometimes you'll, you'll spawn right next to a guy and it kinda sucks um, keep an eye on this guy that I've killed twice his name is Mr. Drewski and without Mr. Drewski I probably wouldn't have won this free for all um, I've killed him twice already but uh, you'll see what I'm talking about uh, take a shot at this guy. Uh, I totally miss. Um, I'm not the best sniper in the world, so <laughs> don't uh, don't say anything about that. Uh, so I lay my claymore. I'm hoping he'll walk into it, but uh, instead he, uh, he walks on top of a trash can. There he is, Mr. Drewski. And then he lays down in the grass. So uh, I clean him up real quick and um, start searching for some more people to kill. Up. Enemy UAV um, another thing is an intervention. I usually will not use an intervention in free for all, simply because I'm not that good of a sniper. I mean, I'm, I'm decent, but um, there's only a, a handful of levels I can use the intervention in a free for all and actually win. Uh, it's just more reasonable to use like a Tar 21 or a Scar or even like an M16 or something. Uh, Free for all, I found myself uh, pretty swamped with enemies because uh, they spawn so close uh, a lot. Um, yeah, so surprisingly, I do well in this game with an intervention. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, so I lay my claymore when I see that guy coming up, and one thing is if you lay a claymore and then you die fairly close to where you planted your claymore I would just recommend just watching your kill cam because it just follows the game in real time while watching the kill cam and like you have that extra three seconds of chance of someone walking into your claymore so it, it's good not to skip the kill cam if you've laid down a, a claymore <clears throat> uh, right here this is the hot zone in the level <laughs> this is the most dangerous part of this whole level in my opinion there's Mr. Drewski. Uh, um, just, there's always someone in this area. Look at that. Ooh, that's bad. Um, getting hit markers. That's another thing. Uh, hit markers with the intervention and Barrett 50 cal should never happen. Um, in real life, the intervention is the most accurate sniper rifle in the world. Uh, and one of the like most deadliest it should kill you in one hit uh, especially with stopping power um, of course the Barrett 50 cal is used to uh, shoot down small aircraft and penetrate you know ridiculous like walls um, there's Mr. Drewski again uh, <laughs> so uh, those are the two weapons in the gun in the game that should be uh, one hit kills in my opinion especially with stopping power um, this, this Mr. Drewski guy, he's, he's been trying to get a revenge kill on me, uh, most of the game so far, and he gets it, <laughs> he finally got it, but, uh, that's another thing, um, revenge killing in this game, you'll see me do it a lot, um, it's, it's just a habit, I'll see you in the kill cam, I know where you are, and I'm gonna try and come get you. Uh, a lot of the times, what was that guy doing? A lot of the times, people will just 
will just camp out that position and they know you're gonna come back for the revenge kill um, fortunately headshot <laughs> fortunately uh, you can take advantage of this or the enemy can take advantage of this so there's Mr. Drewski again um, I'm camping out this position right here this this is a really high traffic area uh, get on top of this little barrel right here you can see all the way down to the very end which is pretty neat um, you just have to watch your back quick scope and um, yeah just you watch your back <laughs> that is it. I'll pick this guy off real quick for my uh, predator and I'm actually doing a 5 7 11 predator harrier AC 130 there's mr. Drewski <laughs> going for the revenge kill and I get my six six kills streak so far and right now I'm just looking for one more person so I can get my Harriers and have some air support do some work so I see this guy run in and I see I see a red dot someone firing and I go for the wall bang uh, doesn't happen but instead this guy walks out and get my seventh uh, kill and now I have my Harriers, call them, um, I put them in, in that high traffic area I was talking about earlier, because uh, most likely someone's there. Uh, on this case, no, no one isn't, but it's okay, because uh, um, air support in free-for-all, I don't know, it's just no one shoots it down. No one wants to change their class to a Stinger class, or... AT4, if you can shoot something down with that. Um, just no one wants to switch classes. Uh, so it's great in free for all. If you play like Ground War, or Ground War Domination, something like that, most likely your air support is going to get shot down really quick. Ooh, and I get that guy from my AC 130. Um, yeah, it's going to get shot down really quick. But as you can tell, no one feels like shooting it down. So it's just going to massacre them. And take a, take a, advantage of this in free for all. Um, yeah, it just helps out a lot. So right now I'm my AC-130, and I am terrible with the USP, but I love it. So um, that was a close call there. And I'm my AC-130, and basically the, the the game's over. Like I'm, it's it's pretty much done. Um, I'm just saving it for the end. I like getting the AC-130 uh, kill cam. Um, get that guy. Miss this guy really bad. Uh, he's a very low level. Obviously, he didn't know I was behind him. I just like I should be dead there. Uh, shoot this guy, and the the barrel on fire is behind him. And it gets that. <laughs> I thought that was a great the guy walking into the flaming barrel. Uh, that was pure luck. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this game was really fun for me because I, I rarely use the intervention, so um, I really like this game. Um, trying to pick off some people, hiding in the, uh, the little hangars. You got the occasional guys that are about to come out. And I get that guy while I almost killed myself with my own AC-130. Because uh, <laughs> I'm laying down right there you can see me well this is my first 